G'day and welcome to Queensland Farmer. Well today we've got Eric back on the farm and we're going to have a look at how this experiment is going. Yeah, we're going to check out these four plots. Essentially, we do actually have five plots if you want to look at this area as being the very first plot. What makes this part of this test is the fact that it's still a roughly the same area. We haven't fenced it off. We've done no treatments apart from the hay. And you'll see that because the cattle are still on it, there is very little growth coming back. The hay that's been put down as a mulch is obviously making a difference to keeping moisture in the ground. There is some regrowth. This was virtually bare when I was here a month ago. Then we can move on to what we called plot one in our first video there. You'll see there is some growth. So that one just had the mulch and the cattle manure. And just having the cattle manure and the mulch only we're seeing maybe 5% more growth than the area where the cattle have not uh, been excluded. So obviously keeping the cattle off an area in itself will pay dividends. And now we move on to plot two. Plot two is the one where we put the mulch, the cattle manure, poultry manure, seed, and this is also where we added the biology you'll see quite a big difference between plot one and two. Uh, there's very good germination there and it's got a good dark green emerald colour. So that's telling me that there is a little bit of soil biology starting to work. You'll see there's patches where there is no mulch all the little plants are actually struggling a bit, but where there is mulch, they're doing quite well, nice strong growth. So we've had excellent germination in this patch. Moving from plot two to three, you'll see very similar germination to plot two. The difference in this plot is that we didn't add any biology. It's still very good germination However, the plants just don't look quite as vigorous and quite as green. So to my mind, that bit of biology coming from the wood chip pile was definitely worth adding. So now as we move on to the last plot, the plot four, you'll see apart from what was already growing here and struggling, We've had very little, if any, germination of the seed we've put down. We also put poultry manure on here. I believe that's helped green up what was already growing here. But because there was no mulch or biology, it's just not really coming back as well as the second and third plots. So moving on out of plot four, we transition into the area where it's not really part of our trial, but I still consider it part of the trial because it's very similar to plot four, except we didn't put seed or manure on and the cattle can still access this area. So once again, it shows that just keeping cattle off an area does actually make quite a difference when you're trying to improve growth rates and improve your soil. Wow, well that's just incredible. The progress here is you know, really humbling that uh, just with a, a little bit of input, we can make such a difference. Now, I guess the question I do have, Eric, is, is this likely to fully germinate across this area? Uh, well, I mean, when we were here last time, just as we'd finished putting the seed out, we did see the ants starting to carry seed off. Yeah. So I'd say there's a fair chance we've actually lost some seed. This might be the limit of what germinates. There might be a few more that are just wanting a little bit more moisture before they germinate. It's going to be a little bit of give it some time. Okay. Um, what we really want to see happen over time is all these plants that do grow, we want them to go to seed. We want that seed to mature. 
mature and fall back into these plots and over a six to 12 month, maybe even two or three year period, you're gonna see this become a very rich lush area and it's what I sort of see as a mini factory where we're producing seed, soil health, biology, and I'd really love to see all that start migrating down the hills here, spreading. And you'll find that um, the fungal networks do that quite well. Uh, once you start seeing mushrooms come up after rains, you know that the system's starting to work. Okay, that's uh, great. Yeah. So. No, that's great. And so in terms of input from me, what should I be doing from here? Um, mate, come and check on it. But that's about it. Okay. Keep the cattle off, I guess? Yeah, keep the cattle off, definitely. Uh, I'd love to see you lock this up indefinitely. Um, yeah, to really see what these things can do for us in the long term, you know. Uh, I mean, your farm's looking pretty green at the moment, but it was a bit dry when I first got here. Yes, it was. You just had an just four weeks rain, ago. obviously. Yes. Yep. Yeah. So, uh yeah, I think this is going to make a big difference to drought conditions in the long run. Well, that's interesting. Now, your business name is Change the Soil? That's correct, yep. So if people are interested in getting in touch with you, yep. hopefully on the screen right now, there's a business card that has Eric's details. So please feel free to get in contact. Yep. Thanks very much, mate. Oh, perfect. That was certainly interesting to see the progress of this experiment. If you'd like to keep up to speed on what's actually happening around the farm, please subscribe to the channel, and if you haven't already, please like this video. Bye for now.